Drink tea. Oh. Ah! I'll drop it on the floor. I'm so gonna eat this. Hello everyone, oh hi gozaimasu and welcome back to my channel and today we're gonna do another food taste test. We're gonna have a taste of Japan. A little taste of Japan, just a little bit. So if you guys don't know, I live and work in Japan for three years. I moved to Japan in 2013 and I have a Japanese brother-in-law and he has a construction company and I work in the yard so it's a physically demanding job you know that's when I lose all most of my body fat 30% body fat down to 5% body fat and that's why I look like this and this in just a couple of months it was effortlessly so you probably know how hard the job was for me to lose that much body fat okay so I'm not gonna tell about my life story in Japan but I'm just want to give you a little hint of what I think about Japan so Japan for me is a really amazing country it's a very good country it's a clean country it's safe country Japanese are nice people they're not racist at all and you can go everywhere in Japan by train so mute is not a problem in Japan if you are in a main city uh, there's an English translation everywhere so one of the few things I like about Japan is their claw machines or the UFO machines so UFO machines is a big thing in Japan like if you go to the mall, there's dedicated space just for um, claw machines. And you can find claw machines everywhere you go. They have a two, three story building full of claw machines. And they have the biggest claw machines in the world that is in Guinness Book of World Record. And I also went there and this is how it looks like. And of course, how can I forget my best experience in life that I never thought I'm gonna do and that was climbing the Mount Fuji yep I climbed up I climbed the Mount Fuji 2015 I climbed Mount Fuji and it was a surreal experience it was amazing you literally gotta walk on the clouds and when you reach the top of Mount Fuji it was a sea of clouds and you are literally on top of the clouds it was a very amazing experience watching the sunset on top of Mount Fuji you can't get any better than that guys it's a once in a lifetime opportunity Japan is, is a country rich in culture I want to go visit Japan and visit, visit Japan I miss Japan I will absolutely gonna go back there again for a vacation and if I have a chance to go back there and live there and work there I will absolutely gonna do it because I love 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 Japan and you see my shirt I'm wearing this shirt I got this from when I was in Japan like look how cool was that that was a ninja on my back I really love the shirt it's a cool cool shirt that's all about Japan let's move on to the food taste testing and let's get started let's get started first I have here a mochi. I have a mochi. If you guys don't know mochi, um, mochi is made of um, water, sugar, and glutinous rice flour. It has red beans and cornstarch. So this one I think is. Um, made of green tea mochi and it has um, red beans inside it's sweet red beans inside I love mochi I love glutinous rice I'm Asian so I love glutinous rice so this is coated in I think it's a glutinous rice flour or cornstarch of some sort so that's how it looks like it's green Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one is made of green tea. But it's really, really good.
So moving on. Now we have the yeah, powder. Now we have the red mochi. I'm not sure what is this, but I think this is strawberry. Let's see. So they have the same ingredients. Tapioca. So let's see. It didn't say here what flavor, it's just different color, but it also has red bean inside. This is really nice with coffee. If you like coffee. So see it's laying in a round cardboard. And that's how it looks like. It's coated in orange starch. That is orange starch. It's pink, like, like white pink. Okay, let's stick. Okay, let's taste it. Hmm. Sound a little stretch inside. Red sweet beans. So it's not strawberry, don't taste strawberry. Don't smell strawberry, maybe it's, this is just a color, but the other one is green tea, this, this is just plain mochi. They just put color in it. So, that's it. I don't want to work for every. Let's move on! So next is a Japanese green tea Kit Kat. So green tea is a big thing in Japan. Tea in particular is big in Japan, especially green tea. That's the green tea Kit Kat. So that's how it looks like. Oh, I'm going to go right. So it has two, like that. Mmm, smells like green tea. Oh! Ah! 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 We'll drop it on the floor. It has a strong green tea flavor. Oh, I like that. So I can still uh, taste the chocolate, which is nice. I need water. I will come back. Okay. So I want to taste this shrimp chips. And it's baked. Come on, the pan open! Ah, God! Mmm, smells like trim. And that's how it looks like. This. How it looks like. It's actually wasabi flavor. So yeah, I can taste the wasabi, but it's not strong. I can taste the wasabi. So, it's okay. It's good. Moving on! Next is a Pocky. And this is chocolate. And this is chocolate banana covered sticks. It's Chocolate banana, banana cream covered chocolate biscuit sticks. Artificially flavored. I love banana, but sometimes the artificial I don't like. There's one big pocket inside. There's one big black inside. Pennies are really big when it comes to snacks. Mmm, smells like artificial banana. Uh huh. But it's not good. <laughs> So that's how it looks like. It's yellow. Yellow. Yellow sticks. It smells like a fish of man. Taste 
tastes like plastic banana. Tastes like vanilla. So fake. There's nothing real banana in this. Okay. I don't like fucking food. Mm. Chocolate, banana, pocky. Thumbs down. No. It's it's gross. We have another pocky, and this one is orange peel chocolate with orange peel. It looks more fancy, like the box looks more fancy. We have a lot of Asian store here where I live. So that's where I get all these um, Japanese snacks. Oh, when you open the box, there's four big packets inside. Four packets, four packets. I hope this one's better than the banana. I love orange too. The most artificial orange flavor are actually good. For some reason, banana, when you make an artificial banana flavor, it, it sucks. It tastes like plastic. It smells just like chocolate. So that's how it looks like. But that's how it looks like. Mm, this one is really good. You guys, I'm telling you, you should try this. I think this is dark chocolate. It didn't say dark chocolate, but the chocolate flavor is so strong. I can really taste the orange in, in this. Mm, this one is good. Banana, no. This one, thumbs up. Okay, moving on. We have... The watermelon gummy candy. So in Japan, they have tons of gummy candies that you can imagine. From fruits, to soda flavored, to flower flavored, like cherry blossoms. They have it. Name it, they have it. Mm. The smell, it smells like, it smells like plastic balloon. Those plastic balloons that I blew when I was a kid. It looks like this. It's wrapped in this red wrapper. And that's how it looks like. It's like pale, like light, almost uh, clear pink. It smells watermelon, but it smells like like a, but it smells like perfume. Hmm. It's not sour. Just sweet, but very chewy. And this one is kind of hard to chew. So last one, moving on to the last one, we have a Ramyun. It's premium carbonated soft drink, and it's orange flavor. It says naturally flavored, but I'm not sure of that since this is like clear white, almost looks like water, just water. So how come it's naturally flavored when it's not colored orange? Push it. Ah, see? Oh, it fizzes. So you can see now the bowl inside it smells like orange. Tastes like orange. But it is orange. It's really good. I like this. You can see that bowl inside. Kind of want to take it out. So that's all for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this Japanese snack taste test. And I like doing this. I'm going to do more food taste in the future. So. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you enjoyed this video, just give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe to my channel, that will make me very happy. So what Asian snacks do you guys like? I want to know. And what kind of snacks do you want me to taste in the future? I want to know. 
So put them in the comment box right down below and I'll see you on my next video. Have a good day everyone and I love you all. Bye!